We're going to now talk about five definitions that we believe every business owner needs to understand and know in order to be able to really be conversant in AI for their business and AI for business uh, for marketing and sales. Um, and those five terms are AI, what is it? Artificial intelligence, chat GPT, source of truth, prompt, and hallucination. So I'm going to hand it over to Nicole. Okay. Well, AI is also known as machine learning. And it's where a computer or a machine can perform a task, and these could be robots or these could be virtual tasks um, that typically would require a human to do. And it's it can be some problem solving. A lot of it for us at this point, well, the AI gets us 80% of the way there. Um, we still need to bring it the rest of the way. So I would say even like problem solving decision making like this says, it's not 100% reliable, <laughs> which I'll go into that a little bit more, but um, artificial intelligence really aids us in thinking about things and solving problems right now. Um, and chat GPT is a tool. It is the one that really broke AI out to the public. It's very easy to use. Um, it doesn't take too much time to learn how to use GPT. And it says generative pre-trained transformer, which means they have trained it on the internet up to 2021. So you're not going to get new information unless you put it in yourself. So somebody asked a question about legislation or, and new policies, things like that. If you had all the new legislation that was passed in a year, you could upload that into ChatGPT and ask it for things that were relevant to whatever your business or industry is. And you could actually make it searchable. So somebody's done that with tax code and had input all of the latest tax code. And they have a phone number that you can call and ask it questions. And it's all AI generated. So while ChatGPT has the base of 2021, it's getting new information as people use it for these other things. So you can you can input it with your information and then make your information pop up when you're trying to get things like blog posts or copy for your website. Um, source of truth is so, so important. Knowing, knowing and having a discernment for what you're putting in and what you're reviewing when you get out for me, the source of truth thing that comes up over and over is keywords on websites um, and what people are going to write blog posts about. And what you think people are looking for on your site might not actually be true. And we use SEO tools to do, and we go to the internet and search and find out what people are actually talking about to get them to your website so that your website can answer the questions. And it's still at this point a human. Because if I ask ChatGPT to write articles based on my website, it's not going to give me the right information because it doesn't have the aggregated SEO knowledge yet. And so a human source of truth is important. It's also like driving a Tesla or any of those automated cars. Um, you, it'll. There's a picture coming up, but you still need the driver. You still need someone there just in case. Um, prompt, and you'll hear prompt a lot. You're going to hear prompt and prompt engineering. And prompt is the words that you write or the words that you speak into the AI tool to get the results that you want, whether it's visual or verbal. It's that command that you give it. And prompting is an art and, you know, we're getting better using it every day. We get better and better with it. And also prompts, some that work one week, don't work the next and don't work in the same way the next week. So this is a really rapidly evolving place. Um, and that's the thing that you have to get good at is asking the right questions. Um, hallucination. Hallucination is, I mean, we all know what hallucination is as a word in general, but hallucination applied to AI is when it gives information that is inaccurate. So I asked AI to rewrite my bio 
um, you know, saying that I'm an AI expert. And it wrote my bio as if I was a comp sci grad from Stanford. And I can tell you, I did not go to Stanford. I went to Weber State University in Utah. <laughs> And I studied history, German, and photography. Like I did not study computer science. This is something that I fell into, but ChatGPT was hallucinating and said that I went to Stanford. 